गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हेयर विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर डिस्कवरिंग टट द सागा कंटिन्यूज बाय डॉक्टर ए आर विलियम्स दिस चैप्टर डिस्क्राइब्स द बॉय किंग टट ही वॉज द लास्ट किंग ऑफ अ वेरी पावरफुल रॉयल फैमिली दैट रूल्ड इजिप्ट फॉर सेंचुरीज एंड दिस लेसन ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ सिटी स्कैन ऑफ टट्स मम्मी रिवील्ड इन interesting but very shocking and surprising facts about him students as we know in egypt they have a culture when a person dies they used to make that dead body into mummy and they used to keep that mummy in a tomb and they used to uh, uh, place several things with the mummy so that the, those things can be used in the afterlife and the same they did with the mummy of tut i'll reveal the rest of the things in the chapter A small introduction about the author A R Williams developed a love for reading at a very young age when he was in grade 4th he was assigned to write his own fictions which was given as a work to them and it occurred for him to the, so he can make stories to others to enjoy although A R did not pursue his desire right away he continued with other things as he kept on reading the amazing comics of spider-man the x-man and during a membership in the book club ar discovered that there were books dedicated to the teaching of amateur writers more about the craft of writing and what he did is he started reading more books and he scored book bookstore shelves adding to his library and slowly learning different facts to what he can do to be a writer he started putting his knowledge to the test and he started crafting stories of imagination in science fiction and fantasy and to improve him his skills ar william joined the science fiction and fantasy online working workshop and this helped him to grow his talent discovery of tut's tomb he was just a teenager when he died he was the last heir of his family his dynasty which was very powerful it ruled egypt for centuries and he was given rest in grave laden with gold finally he was forgotten but his tomb was discovered in 1922 by howard carter and that was considered the most important and crucial archaeological find of the century on january 5 2005 King Tut's mummy glided head first into CT scanner to probe the medical mystery surrounding him because his death was not considered as natural death it was con- considered as a murder and that was a mystery to be solved and f- to solve that mystery CT scan was the must but the person who wanted to conduct CT scan that person experienced that very angry wind stirred up and very ghostly dust devils were there dark clouds moved into the sky all day and the things were not seems to be normal these were thought to be the indications of the pharaoh's curse the kings the tuts the death and the misfortune would fall upon those who disturb the mummy of tut This chapter deals with a story of exploration carried out to find the mystery surrounding King Tut's death because it was thought that it was not the natural death it was a murder it gives a brief description of the struggle taken by the team to extract the remains from his coffin and this chapter is a narration of the experience of the researchers while exploring his coffin and for the forensic studies also The study present the efforts of archaeologists to unveil the mystery of Tut's death which seems more like a murder it is about the medical technology being used to investigate such intricate cases The theme the story discovery Tut the saga continues is a description of the exploration conducted by the team of the researchers it gives the brief description of the struggle through which the team has to go through to unveil the mystery of the death of this king tut 
The story highlights the change in the methods of archaeology from few decades back to the present era of modern technology. It also gives us an idea that what kind of exploration was conducted in 1922 by the team when there was no modern method to do so. It also helps us to understand the revolution in the field of archaeology which is due in the modern equipment and sophisticated methods being used to give accurate results. The story helps us to understand what kind of efforts the team involved in this production and the tomb of the king that is extracted. We will also understand the concept of life after death. The concept which was used in the ancient time, that time people used to think that you could carry all your belongings to the new life after death. The tomb was thus filled with the belongings of King Tut like razors, necklace, wines which were for the king to use after death. That time people used to think that the important things which we use in our life, those things are to be needed after death also. So it was compulsory for every mummy that they used to keep these things in the tomb. The main focus is led on the process of forensic reconstruction of the remains to find the cause of the death which is easily done by the CT scans these days but that time it was a bit difficult and the age when the king was dead. The modern method of CT scan is used and King Tut's body was the first to be put under scan. The scanner picked up images in 3D way of the king's body and the anatomy of was conducted much to the relief of the team members. Now the characters, those who were talked about in the chapter. First was Aman Hotep III. He was the grandfather of Tut and he was a very powerful king and he ruled for almost four decades. Then came Aman Hotep IV. He was after the grandfather that means the father he promoted the worship of god Aten and he changed his name also then he also changed the name of the capital of their state and then he attacked the god amun and he smashed his temples and idols because he never wanted to worship him then the turn came of king tut tutankhetan was his first name but when he became the ruler as a teenager he changed his name to tutankhamun he ruled for nine years and died and the expectations of his death and the calculations with the people made his death gave a controversy that it was not a natural death, it was a murder and that was the reason his mummy was the first to uh, examine under the CT scan. Now I am starting with the summary of the chapter. This chapter is regarding the last hire of the great pharaoh dynasty, Tutankhamun. He died in his very teen age after ruling for nine years. His death gave birth to a mystery that talks about his death is a murder. This chapter talks about all the possible mysteries, the curse when they try to bring out his tomb, uh, his mummy out of the tomb, where his tomb is lying, the whole life and finally his death. Discovering Tut, the saga continues, summary, will give you all the facts and information about the death of Tut. Tutankhamun was the last leader of this great pharaoh dynasty. He was very young when he died and according to the people's view, his death was a murder. It was not proven that time, but people think about it. In the year 1922, his tomb was exposed by Howard Carter, an archaeologist. After 80 years, he was taken for the city scan to solve the mystery of his life and death through a forensic reconstruction. His father or grandfather, Amen Hotep III, was a very great ruler and he ruled for a period of 40 years. Moreover, his son, Amen Hotep IV, succeeded him and he became the king and there was a different period of history in Egypt. His name was cha changed to Akhenaten, which means servant of Hates. He changed this religious capital from Thebes to Amarna. Later he attacked Amun, a god, and he ruined his images and shut his temples. He closed everything. He stopped people from wor worshipping Amun god. Another mysterious ruler came over who died very soon. 
Tut sat on the power. He became the king and he ruled for next nine years. When Tut's body was found, there was lot of gold and wealth. Howard Carter got him after so many years of efforts. But after conducting the research on the treasures, he planned to examine his three nest box. Many of the treasure in the tomb was already misplaced. That means that was an idea that somebody before uh, Howard Carter wanted to research over it. That was the reason many of the things from his tomb was misplaced. His tomb was found rock cut 26 feet under the ground, which also had some wall paintings. And that reveals that he was killed or murdered or he died in the month of March or April. One of the coffin put Carter into trouble. The gums used to paste cut to the lowest of the solid gold. Coffin was toughened enough that made it impossible to displace. They were not able to open that coffin. He put the box in the sun for numerous hours so that the glue, the gum which was used to paste the coffin should melt and that can help them to open the coffin. But they did not work. When it was impossible to keep that body in the sun and that did not help, then Howard Carter took the help of chisel and hammer and he sensed that it did not have any other choice than the cutting of the mummy into limbs because as I have said earlier also that the, he thought that it was misplaced. Some people have uh, op tried to open this and thieves have robbed the gold or the treasures from the tomb. His men first removed the head of the mummy and then they cut off each and every joint that can help them to research better. After the process of removing all the body parts, they placed it on the layer of the sand. As you can see in the picture, they kept the parts in the wooden box and placed it at the original place. Later in January 2009, the body was taken for the CT scan, which can produce hundreds of x-rays and that can generate a 3D image that can easily be studied by anyone. That night after the scan, the team passed that body from the tomb into a box and they went through the ramp and the stairs and lifted the body on a hydraulic that was holding a scanner. In between of the skin, uh, scanning, the machine stopped working and the process of CT scan stopped. But after that, a pair of spare fans, the scan was completed. After three hours, they transferred the body back to the tomb where it was already placed and now the body is resting in peace. Now we are going to talk about the treasures which were already in the tomb. The body, the mummy of Tut was into three layered coffin. The first as you can see in the picture, the second coffin was made by the laminated wood and the third was the gold. The treasure of t uh, Tut was seen, was discovered by Howard Carter on November 4, 1922. Tut's second innermost coffin was made with the gilded laminated wood. Then the third coffin was made by the solid hammered gold and weighed about 450 pounds. The royal mummy of Tut was found inside this third coffin. The foremost and furthermost gilded wood was showing that Tut was hunting a hippopotamus. The second was an open lotus flower and it was beautifully crafted and it also depicted the god He kneeling on his knees. The third was the three models of luxury ships that Tut uh, might be using in his lifetime. Now coming to the curse. The curse means that people used to think that Tut is having some power, supernatural powers in him as many of the times when people used to open his tomb and want to study about him, many of the things happened and people were unsuccessful during that. These things happened whenever the mummy, people want to took, take out the mummy and study about it. The first was a cobra killed Howard Carter's pet canary, the bird, after the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Second, Lord Caravan, the person who funded to dig the King, King Tut's tomb died shortly after the discovery due to a mosquito bite which turned into the infection and he died. 
Third was his dog howled and dropped dead at 2 a.m. in the morning when Lord Carnarvon died. What is interesting is that Howard Carter lived a decade after this major discovery. So many people were involved in the discovery of Tut's tomb and the mummy. Everyone was destroyed. Everyone died. But that the interesting part was Howard Carter was alive after this major discovery and study. Now, students, this is the layout of the tomb where the mummy of Tut was kept. You can first see the entrance steps that was twenty six feet underground. Then there was a sealed door. If you have to open that door, then there was a passage. Then open the door. There was an empty chamber. Much of the used things for Tut were kept there. And then again, there was a sealed door which used to go to the golden shrine. That there was the mummy kept. The coffin was kept there, and the treasure chamber was the chamber was the room where the all the gold plated things or, or uh, which he used to have in his life, and people think that he will use after his life also was kept. Then there was another sealed door opposite the ante chamber that was the next year that was the door which people th thought that Tut can use any time after his death. Now this is the live layout of the tomb. You can easily see there were the uh, stairs, twenty-six feet underground. Then there was a passage. One entrance door was there, which was sealed. Then there was an ante chamber. All the things were kept there. The things he used in his life. Then again there was a room burial chamber where the mummy was buried. You can see in the picture. And then there was a treasure chamber where all the things of gold were. kept for him to use after his death after his after life the conclusion of the chapters discovery tut the saga continues summary tells us that tut was a known and a brave ruler of his dynasty and he died a mysterious death and is resting in peace in his tomb now i have given the vocabulary which is used in the chapter you can read and understand it I hope students you got the gist and the summary of the chapter if you have any kind of problems you can contact me thank you so much